we're back on the morning brew with friends we got our old friend joe marie in this morning she's gonna tell us about everything we missed on the interwebs this week with the trending hashtag trending with joe marie Hello, happy October, and it's almost Halloween, my favorite month. Only 31 more days. So it is a season for candy corn, for pumpkin spice lattes, and for scary movies. But it's also the time for, for a limited time only, the new A1 Burger King Whopper. Now, there's some mixed reviews about this. It's a black bun that is infused with A1 sauce. Take it as what you will, because... I'm baffled about it. Some some are saying it tastes the same. The other ones are saying that it's gooey and moist. No. <laughs> um, up next um, is actually I'm going to show you guys. This is my dog Charlie. So he is a great dog, loving to pieces. However, he is not great at selfies, as you can tell. He can look the, this way and that way, never at the camera. So now I am actually able to take my dog selfie game to the next level. Thank you to Jason Hernandez out of California who's invented the new dog selfie stick. It's 3D printed and you're able to put his favorite or her favorite toy on top, preferably a ball, and you're able to take a selfie. So if you watch this video right here, this is him showing exactly how it is. However, he was quoted saying, it doesn't change your dog's behavior. If you have a good dog, it's good. If it's a bad dog, it's gonna be a bad dog. So no helping there with any of that. Um, well, tis the season in October to watch scary movies and not feel judgment from your friends from what you do when you're home alone. So what I recommend right now is the first one, Babadook. This was 2014 last year. Good scary thriller for you. And the next one is Your Next 2011. It's one of the, in my opinion, one of the best slasher films. So it's ready to re basically get your skin crawling, lock your doors, make sure your windows are closed, and you're just not going to leave for the rest of the night because you will be freaked out by the end of this. And lastly, we are all friends and fans of the 1994 Lion King of Disney's animated film. And right here, um, right before we play this, um, thank you guys for tuning in to Trending with Joan Marie, and we have the Bottle Boys playing a Lion King song for you guys. <laughs> so much fun. So if you actually want to see more of those videos, uh, the Bottle Boys actually have done Johnny Cash, they've done Backstreet Boys, they've done Bruno Mars, Coldplay, they have over 81,000 followers on YouTube and this one is just one of their many amazing videos. Well thanks very much for bringing it because now I got that song stuck in my head. You're welcome. All day long I'm going to be walking around. <laughs> People are going to be wondering what kind of crazy guy I am, humming hey, that to myself It's all a happy day. song. You're really, welcome. It is. I've never actually seen the Bottle Boys. It, those are awesome. And do they do all their videos in their bathrobes? They do them in various wardrobe garb, all appropriate for work. So if you want to maybe segue doing something while you're at the office, it's a great way to do it. Spend your time. I love it. So we were talking about some of the scary movies. Yes. Now, there, there, there are some good old standbys, though. Absolutely. It's, it's like, I, I got to find a way to get Halloween, the original Halloween. <sighs> it's not on Netflix. Where, do you have any thoughts where I can dig that original, the original one up? Rumor has it, it's actually going to be playing at the Chemo Theater on Halloween this year, here in I town. I heard that rumor. Yes. The original Halloween. Yeah, the original That's Halloween. A, that will be Because awesome. yours truly is actually also going to be leading the haunted tour there. Really? Yeah. The Chemo Theater is haunted. 
Oh, yeah, there's the little boy. Yeah, Bobby, who, Bobby right. Darnell. He, I have taken donuts to Bobby. For that's those good. that don't know, the little the the chemo theater is haunted by a ghost of was it Bobby? I can't remember his last Bobby's name. Bobby Darnell. And he he's been there for almost a hundred years now, probably. Yes. And uh, the lore is that if you take donuts and candy to and put it in the little nicho in the back there, mm -hmm. that you can. It, well, he helps you make your show better. Well, I have. I honestly like. I've taken my tours when I used to be over there, and my stuff is still there from my musical theater days. Oh, that's very. So cool. I mean, honestly, it's to make sure that lights wouldn't fall, that you don't trip, you don't forget your lines, you don't actually break a leg on stage. Uh, so no, Bobby, he's a little trickster. Right. He's a little rambunctious, but it was a water heater that exploded on the right side of the stairs, and it was. It's a pretty brutal story, but you know, there you go. Yeah, and it, but. He's still there, and he people is. still to this day like they've called. They call nine one one every now and then, saying there's a kid trapped at the chemo theater. People and have seen sightings from the second and third floor from the window. There's the child in the chemo theater. Right? So I can't wait for the actual Halloween so I can see the original Halloween. It's been a while since I've seen yes. it. Yes. But it's kind of like, you know, you got to watch Die Hard on Christmas. Well, in the future, I'm going to be coming back with some more recommendations for scary movies for this month. Next next time you're on, yes. I want to get all the scary movies for Halloween. Yes. We'll do it. We'll be back in a couple of seconds with the Morning Brew with friends.